All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're talking about a huge fundamental shift happening in cybersecurity. We're basically throwing out a 20-year-old playbook and moving into a world where AI isn't just another tool in the box. It's becoming the very heart of our digital defense. So how did we get here? And more importantly, where is this all headed? Let's get into it. I mean, really think about that for a minute. What happens when the very people you've hired to protect your most critical data are so completely swamped with noise and false alarms that they can't even spot the real dangers anymore? Well, that's not a hypothetical. That is the crisis facing security teams right now, and it's the exact problem we're going to unpack today. And this all centers on something called the Security Operations Center, or the SOC. For the last couple of decades, this has been the command center for all things cyber defense. But, you know, under the constant pressure of modern, sophisticated attacks, that traditional model, it's really starting to crack. So why is it breaking? Well, it really comes down to three core weaknesses. First, you've got this massive noise overload. Analysts are just buried in a sea of false positives. Second, every single alert is looked at in its own little silo, which means they're constantly missing the bigger picture of a full-on attack campaign. And third, everything is so manual that the response time is just painfully slow. And this visual really shows you why that old model, it's just a simple, straight line, a linear funnel. You have data pouring in one end, it goes through a few basic automated checks, and then bam, it hits a wall. And that wall is the human analysts. They become the bottleneck. This whole rigid process is the root cause of all that slowness and all that noise. So what's the solution? Well, it's not about trying to make that old funnel a little bit faster or a little bit wider. It's about throwing out the funnel entirely it's time to embrace a completely new way of thinking, a recursive paradigm that's driven by AI from the ground up. That's the new way. It's a dynamic, intelligent loop. Instead of just pushing alerts down a line, the system is constantly asking questions, looping back to pull in more data, and adapting its investigation in real time. It is a fundamental change in how we think about this problem. Now, the engine that powers this new loop is a concept called Verdict Signal Checks, or VSCs. And this completely flips the old model on its head. See, instead of an alert firing and then a human has to waste time proving it's fake, the AI forces the alert itself to prove it's real. It has to pass a whole series of these automated checks. It literally has to earn its way to a human's attention. Okay, I know this looks really complex, but honestly, that's kind of the point. This isn't just one simple rule. It's this intricate web of connected questions that the AI is constantly asking itself to build confidence. You can see it's checking stuff like, hey, is this user logging in from a strange location? Or have we ever seen this type of process before? Or does this device have any known vulnerabilities? It's essentially mimicking a human's entire thought process, but doing it at a scale and speed that no human team could ever hope to match. And taking this approach gives you three huge wins. First, explainability. Every single alert that actually makes it to a human comes with a crystal clear reason why it was flagged. Second, efficiency. The vast, vast majority of noise just gets filtered out automatically. And third, and this is a big one, is trust. Because the analysts can actually see the AI's logic, they start to trust the system. It's not some mysterious black box making decisions. Okay, so this all leads to the million dollar question, right? If the AI is doing all this initial investigation work, what's left for the humans to do? Are the robots taking over our jobs? Well, not exactly. It's more like we're building a whole new kind of partnership. And this quote really just nails it. The job isn't going away, it's evolving. The role of the security analyst is shifting. They're becoming AI supervisors. Their new job is to validate, to guide, and most importantly, to teach the AI, making it smarter and more effective over time. A really cool way to think about this new role is through this pyramid of influence. It's a model that shows how different kinds of human feedback have different levels of impact on the AI's learning. And trust me, it goes way beyond just clicking a button that says false positive. This whole partnership works because of a continuous feedback loop. So an analyst provides some feedback. Maybe they add crucial context to an alert or they override one of the AI's decisions. The system then captures that feedback, figures out how important it is, and then takes action, actually adjusting its own models and rules. And then it measures the impact and reports back. This is literally how humans teach the machine. It's a living, breathing process. So let's bring all this home. This isn't some sci-fi vision of what things might look like 10 years from now. This transformation is happening as we speak, and it has very real, very immediate implications for how security teams operate and the kind of technology they need to be using. And a really key part of this is understanding that not all AI is created equal. 
you've got large language models, LLMs, which are incredible creative assistants. They can summarize a complex attack in plain English, which is amazing. But for that high-speed, repetitive grunt work of sifting through millions of events per second, you need traditional machine learning, the efficient pipeline processor. It's all about using the right tool for the right job. And you can see this job evolution happening across every single level. Your tier one analyst, they go from mind-numbing, manual noise filtering, to supervising the AI. The tier two analyst moves from just investigating individual cases to actively refining the AI's logic. And your senior analysts, they're finally freed up to do the high-level strategic work they were hired for, like proactive threat hunting and designing new detection models. Everybody's job gets elevated. And let me be clear, this is not a prediction. This is happening right now. The companies that are on the cutting edge are already seeing this. Their junior analysts are no longer drowning in log files. Instead, their job is to coordinate the AI's findings and pass its summaries up the chain. For these teams, this isn't the future, it's just Tuesday. And so that leaves us with one last big idea to chew on. As these systems become more and more autonomous, the most valuable skill might not be your ability to find the needle in the haystack yourself, but instead, how good you are at teaching the AI that does it for you. It really makes you wonder, who is the better defender? A person or an AI teacher? Let's see it in action. We'll start right at the top. What you see here is the case management dashboard. Each case here has already been automatically analyzed by our autonomous triage engine. Notice that each one has a verdict. True positive, false positive, or inconclusive. Automatically determined by the system. The key thing to understand is that these verdicts weren't guessed. They were earned through a series of lightweight structured validations we call verdict signal checks or VSC. That's what makes this the heart of an autonomous SOC. The ability to reason, validate and conclude before an analyst even touches the case. Let's drill into one of these cases. The system has automatically summarized the entire incident from detection to potential impact, in plain language. It explains the timeline, the affected assets, and even suggests next steps, all based on the alert evidence. What's happening under the hood is that the AI agent is pulling just-in-time context. Entity relationships, prior verdicts, threat intel, and synthesizing that into an actionable narrative. So instead of reading through 20 or 30 alerts, an analyst can get to the essence of what happened and why it matters in seconds. Below the summary, we can see the list of alerts that make up this case. Each alert carries its own verdict, again, automatically derived by the AI based on its VSC evaluation. Some are marked true positive, some inconclusive, because the system only promotes alerts when multiple checks align to build confidence. Think of it as having a virtual tier one analyst reviewing every alert in parallel, continuously and consistently. Now let's zoom into one alert to see how that decision was made. On the right, you can see the AI findings panel. This is where the reasoning becomes transparent. Each finding is linked to a specific validation step. For example, malicious IP reputation, brute force behavior or anomaly patterns. The AI doesn't just say, this is true positive, it shows its work. That transparency builds trust and explainability. Two things missing from most traditional automation. Now here's where the human augmented part comes in. As an analyst, I can review the AI's verdict and if I disagree, I can override it. For instance, let's say I mark this alert as false positive. That feedback doesn't just disappear it goes right back into the learning loop. The system records the override, recalibrates the relevant VSC weights, and applies that learning to future, similar alerts. In other words, the analyst isn't just responding, they're training the system, one decision at a time. So what we've just seen is the full loop of the autonomous SOC in action. AI drives automatic case analysis and summarization. Each alert, earns its verdict through structured validation. Analysts remain in control, validating and shaping the system's intelligence. The result? Faster triage, cleaner signal, and continuous learning. A SOC that gets smarter every day.
This is what we mean by human augmented autonomy, the future of security operations that's recursive, explainable, and always improving.